back uh, to the cradle of mankind, also known as County 023, that is uh, Turkana County. Barely weeks after hosting the Senate Mashinani there, Turkana County will once again be the focal point when it comes uh, to the Turkana Cultural Festival. I do understand that we do have our reporter, that is senior reporter Simon Ochola, at uh, the grounds that the Turkana Cultural Festival will be held from the 12th to the 14th. Simon, good afternoon. And if you can hear me, tell us if the preparations are for that particular festivity are ready. Well, thank you uh, very much. Uh, indeed, we are in Trukana County and uh, we are here purposefully to ensure that uh, the people of Trukana County, the leadership and of course the security uh, 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 officials or the leaders of uh, Trukana County can actually tell a story, a true story of what indeed Trukana uh, County is, that they should uh, of course give us the true version of indeed uh, what uh, Trukana County it is, so that then of course the picture that we heard about Trukana County, uh, we can actually assess if it's indeed true or indeed they will be giving us a true picture of what Turkana County is. We are here to ensure that we give you a snippet of what uh, the preparations are that are actually underway the, in terms of uh, security, the preparation in terms of uh, preparing for the week-long cultural festival that are expected to kick off on 12th of uh, this uh, month and they'll be going all the way up until uh, 14th, 14th and of course we're also expecting that our President uh, William Ruto will be here to officially flag off uh, the cultural festival that will bring uh, together all the cultural activities that are happening here in uh, Trukana County that will ensure that indeed we can actually see the beauty of uh, Trukana County and more importantly also that the people of Trukana County can tell uh, their story uh, bit uh, by bit uh, to the world. But of course uh, the first question you'll be asking yourself when you come to if you want to come to Trukana County will be the question of security. If I'm going to, to Trukana County will I, will it, is it safe enough uh, for me to go to Trukana County and uh, which route will I be using? And there's no better person to actually tell us uh, what exactly they've actually put in place in terms of ensuring that this county is safe enough for everyone who wants to come for, not just for this uh, Trukana uh, Cultural Festival but also uh, any other activity as pertains to investing in Trukana County and just also visiting uh, this uh, uh, county. So I with me here is uh, the County Commissioner of uh, Trukana County Jacob Oma, who will actually put us into perspective of exactly the measures they've actually put in place to ensure that Trukana County is safe. Uh, Banouma, uh, kindly tell us how safe is Turkana County. Thank you very much. Turkana County is as safe as any other destination in the Republic of Kenya. I speak this with a lot of confidence because uh, Turkana County just hosted the entire Senate for a whole week last week and everybody else came in and went away very peacefully and very happy. I say this because uh, one major artery of uh, coming to Turkana is the Kitale, Kainuk, uh, all the way to Lodwa Highway, which in the past had issues, but I want to assure the people of the Republic of Kenya and all those people intending to travel to Turkana, Lodwa for that matter, that the highway between Kitale all the way through Kainuk, all the way through Lakakong, all the way to Lokichar to Lodwa is very safe. We have adequate security measures, we have a GSU camp just before Laminyeusi, we have an AS2 patrol unit in Kainuk itself. We have a general service unit, uh, patrol unit at the surveillance center, which is also at, Ec uh, at Eco Lodge, which is a very advantageous position. We also have the RDU, which is at Akwamuru and takes charge of Kakong. And above all, we have the KDF at Loyapat, so that that area is adequately policed and monitored. Fantastic. Uh, you, when I was talking to you before this interview, one uh, uh, common factor that co that constantly came in our conversation was uh, the fact that you've ensured that normal activities can actually continue on that route. Man and also, you're actually calling on the locals who have actually been uh, doing the activities around that place to actually come out and continue their normal business. Generally, uh, in the past when we had uh, the situation, the president himself gave orders and instructions that that particular mess and that business of uh, necessary slaughter of people and mayhem must cease. True to his command and his word, that business of confusion is coming to an end. The road is safe, people can travel, goods can be moved, services can cross all over, and the people can go about and do their daily businesses. The patrols and surveillance will continue, and with every new day, in the spirit of Gemba Kaizen, 
we continue improving and making it better for the people. So there's no cause for alarm when somebody has to travel by road to Turkana. Mm. They are you, very safe. You, you told me it's so safe that a, a person can actually spread their mat at night and actually just sleep in, in, the, in, the, in the night. In Lodwa town here, being a hot place, is, Lodwa is very safe. We have adequate police patrols, we have adequate beats. It is so safe, you can spread your mat just outside your veranda and just use your ekich along. That's the traditional seat. And sleep comfortably. Nobody will bother you. That's how safe it is. In the run-up to the cultural, uh, tourism and cultural festival that actually will be beginning on 12th, uh, just, try, just give us um, a snippet of what we're actually doing to ensure that, um, because there'll be uh, an increase of uh, people coming from outside the county, uh, outside this county, to actually participate in that particular activities. Just give us a snippet of what you've done and uh, what your team is actually doing to ensure that each and every person who's actually coming into this county is safe enough. First and foremost, we have the security committee which has, which has put plans through an operation plan, an operation order which will make sure that the road I've talked about is safe. The road from uh, Nadapal, that is from South Sudan, uh, where you cross through Nadapal, to, is safe. The road through Lokiriyama, that is from Uganda, is safe. So that every other visitor visiting uh, this county from the rest of East Africa and beyond are safe. The town itself has got very many facilities, accommodation, entertainment, refreshment, cultural. The police have put up their program. There will be adequate beats, there will be adequate patrols, adequate surveillance so that everybody will enjoy their presence here. We have done it in the past and it's not a fast one, so I assure you that everything is speak and span as per the operation order. In any element that is actually sitting out there and thinking that um, uh, this opportune moment for them to actually try and send a message, what is the message to them? By now they know that uh, we are not jokers. We don't speak for the sake of it. If there is anybody hell-bent on causing commotion here, they'll be dealt with even before they cause the commotion. So let us maintain peace. Let us welcome our visitors with decorum and let us enjoy the cultural week. In conclusion, uh, give us the status of uh, security in uh, entire Turkana County in terms of any other areas so that then we can actually uh, finish up. I want to assure that Turkana County in its entirety, all the way from Turkana East, Turkana South, Turkana West, Lokichogio, Loima, Turkana North, Kibish, even Turkana Central is well maintained. We have adequate uh, resources. We have uh, officers in every other corner, border crossings patrolling and monitoring. So as far as I'm concerned, Turkana County is very safe. In fact, it's the safest place to be at the moment. Fantastic. That is uh, the Turkana County Commissioner Jacob Ouma reassuring us and each and every person who is intending to come to Turkana County that uh, he has ensured with his team uh, that uh, Turkana County is safer, uh, not just uh, uh, during the cultural uh, fest tourism cultural festival, but also going forward. And of course, he says that they've actually put in place measures to ensure that this is a safe place, that anyone willing to actually invest in this county can actually come and do so. Anyone willing to actually come and to participate in the cultural uh, tourism and cultural fest festival should actually come and do so. But also, a stern warning to those who think that they can actually uh, try and destabilize uh, this county, saying that the government is actually on top of things and will ensure that the stability that is actually being witnessed in this county continues. Back to you. Thank you so much. That is our senior reporter already on the ground in Turkana County awaiting that particular Turkana Cultural Festival that will kickstart in the 12th to the 14th of this particular month. Thank you, Simon Ochola. Of course, we do anticipate a comprehensive package from you in our subsequent bulletins. Quickly is that KBC Channel 1 will be showcasing that particular event from the 12th to the 14th of this particular month. And as you just heard from the Turkana County Commissioner, that is Jacob Oma, is that all roads leading to Turkana are safe.